Metformin is the most commonly prescribed drug for women with PCOS, but it comes with some pretty unpleasant side effects. What if I told you that there's a supplement out there that can be just as effective in managing your PCOS symptoms, but without those side effects? Let's talk about that. In this video, we're going to be talking about berberine. So I'm going to tell you what berberine is, why that you should be taking it for your PCOS, and we talk about how to go about taking it. Now, berberine has been around for the last about 3,000 years. It's very commonly used in Chinese medicine, and it's getting a lot of traction in the westernized world. It is very often used as a addition or a replacement to something like metformin. And I'm going to talk about why that is and why it's so powerful for your PCOS. Now, there are two main characteristics of berberine that make it so helpful for PCOS. The first one is that it helps to make you more sensitive to insulin and deals with insulin resistance. And the second one is that it is very anti-inflammatory in nature. So why might that be helpful for PCOS? Well, you need to understand a little bit about what PCOS is and what it does to your body. But one of the things with PCOS is that we tend to be insulin resistant or we tend to produce too much insulin. Now, the problem is that our ovaries tend to be a little bit sensitive to insulin. And so this high insulin levels causes our ovaries to produce too much testosterone. When we're having too much testosterone or male androgens, we get symptoms like acne, hair where we don't want it, or hirsutism, an irregular menstrual cycle. And so we can really link a lot of the symptoms of PCOS to this insulin resistance and high testosterone levels. But there's one other thing that I want you to see, and that is that inflammation and insulin resistance are linked. So the more inflamed you are, the more insulin resistant you are. The more insulin resistant you are, the more inflamed you are. And it sets about this vicious cycle. So if we can address inflammation and insulin resistance, we will go a long way in improving our PCOS symptoms. So we know that it's really important to manage insulin resistance and inflammation to improve our PCOS symptoms. There are a lot of ways to do that, but one of them is to change the way that you eat, which is why I've put together PCOS foodies where you get monthly meal plans, members only podcasts, live Q&A. We have a lot of women in the community who really find it helpful to have everything laid out for them in terms of food. They have all the support that they need and they get to chat to each other and get the emotional support that we so often lack with PCOS. So if you want to check out PCOS foodies, check out the link below. One of the other ways that we can manage insulin resistance is by taking berberine. Now, I'm going to show you some of the research and I'm going to share with you some of the reasons that you should be taking berberine. I want you to stick to the end of the video because there, are some important, there is some important information that you're going to need to know in terms of how to take it and what side effects you might expect. So here are some of the ways that berberine can help with your PCOS. Number one is that it can help you make, be more sensitive to insulin. So we've spoken about why that might help. But the reason that it does this, number one, is that it reduces the, number, the amount of glucose taken up by the bloodstream. So when you are digesting um, carbohydrates, less glucose is taken up by the bloodstream. And secondly, it can make you more sensitive to insulin. Again, if you're more sensitive to insulin, you will see an improvement in all of your PCOS symptoms. Number two, it's been shown to help with weight loss, which is great. In fact, some of the research shows that people who took berberine over a period of 12 weeks, went from a BMI of about 31.5 to around 27. So that shows a huge improvement in weight and in body composition. And, and not only that, it also helps to reduce fat storage, okay? So if we have less fat being stored by, around our middle, now we all know about PCOS belly, I'm sure, if you have less weight being stored around your middle, it will also help you to feel better and look better. So the way that your, your body composition will also change if you take berberine. So we've spoken about weight loss, we've spoken about improved insulin resistance. The other thing that berberine can really help with is by lowering your cholesterol levels. Now we know that cholesterol is a silent killer. We know that women with PCOS are more prone to high cholesterol levels. We're more prone to cardiovascular disease. And so we really need to be keeping an eye on our cholesterol levels. And when you go to a doctor, for, a, for your regular checkup, one of the tests that should be done is your cholesterol levels. Now, the really good thing is that berberine can help to improve your cholesterol levels by, improve, by increasing 
the levels of good cholesterol and lowering the bad cholesterol. Another great reason to be taking berberine. If you like the information in this video, I'd love it if you could give me a like and subscribe. It goes a really long way in spreading the information in this video, and it really goes a long way in helping me and the channel. Research also shows that berberine can help regulate your cycle just as well as metformin can. So if you are trying to conceive, if you have an irregular cycle, if you haven't had a period for a really long time, and you would really quite like to have one, and I know that women with PCOS is one of the few people who get really excited when we have our period, then you may want to consider berberine. It is shown to be just as effective as, as metformin in um, allowing spontaneous ovulation. It helps to regulate our hormones, which will only help to improve your fertility if you are trying to conceive. As part of this regulating your menstrual cycle, it also helps to improve hormonal balance. So what we're talking about with hormonal balance is if the research shows that if you do bloods after, say, 12 weeks of doing metformin, you will likely have lower free androgen index, so you have less testosterone in your body, you have increased sex hormone binding globulin, or SHBG, you will have increased progesterone. So your whole hormonal profile can really be altered by taking berberine consistently for a period of about 12 weeks. And the last thing that I really want to mention, because this is so underlooked with women with PCOS, is that berberine can really help to improve the symptoms of depression and anxiety. We know that women with PCOS are far more prone to depression and anxiety as a result of the hormone imbalance, as a result of the pain of living with PCOS. It has a huge mental toll. And so the things that we can do to boost anxiety, to improve our anxiety levels, to lift our mood, those are important and we shouldn't discount them. So depression and anxiety can really be alleviated by taking something like berberine. So those are some of the reasons that I think um, berberine can be a really helpful tool in your PCOS arsenal. But now you might be wondering, how do we take it? Where do I find it? What is the dosage? Let's talk about that. So the research shows that berberine hydrochloride is what's commonly recommended. It is more bioreadily available to your body. So that is the one that I would recommend. I'm going to put a link in the description below. If you would like to get the one that I recommend from Amazon, you're welcome to do that. The dosage is 500 milligrams, two to three times per day. Now, if you are taking berberine and you feel like you're not really seeing the results that you want, then I really want to encourage you to stick with it. With so many of the supplements of PCOS, we take it for two, three weeks and we expect to feel amazing and different and hugely improved. And often that's not the case. You need to be really patient. So the research shows that you need to be taking berberine for at least three months to start being effective. So if you are taking berberine and you're not seeing the results and you've only just started it, please be patient, stick with it, and keep taking it for at least three months. And the last thing you might be wondering is what about some of the side effects of berberine? Well, you'll be pleased to know that they're not nearly as bad as the side effects for metformin. There can be some mild gastrointestinal distress, but it is very mild and it should improve over time. If you are experiencing some of these symptoms, what you can do is half the dose. So instead of taking the 500 milligrams three times a day, maybe start off with once a day and then build it up to twice a day and three times a day as your body gets more used to it. So I would love to hear from you. Have you taken berberine for your PCOS? And if you have, what kind of results are you seeing? I would love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment below.